All right, it is day seven, I think, on EB Isle. I'm honestly losing track at this point, and I'm pretty sure in the previous video, I said the wrong number the entire time. I am the worst. I don't know what to tell you. I literally can never keep track of anything. But whatever day it is, we are making some serious progress on this island. I gave myself a new custom design outfit, and I did go ahead and get a new hairdo since you last saw me. I also made a custom design for freckles and eyebrows, and it was honestly so incredibly difficult. But we've got a fireworks show going on tonight in Resident Services. We've got Celia moving on to the island, and we also have Resident Services in construction mode tomorrow, which is super exciting. We're gonna start off the day by just saying hi to Celia though. And just like I thought, she is an eagle. I couldn't quite remember based on her name, but I do think she's pretty cute. Compared to having a mouse on the island or like a sheep or hippo or something, I will absolutely take it. Plus she has a really cute little outfit and I feel like her house is gonna be really adorable as well. So you know what? Celia is welcome on Evie Isle. I will say I'm not entirely sure what we need to accomplish today. I've definitely farmed so many items. We have plenty of things to craft. I do want to say hello to everyone. I'm not sure I'll be able to play until it's dark enough to really take advantage of the fireworks, which is a little bit of the bummer. But we did finally get an S rating from Happy Home Academy, which is pretty exciting. Honestly, I think it was pretty easy to achieve considering my house has never been upgraded. So that was pretty cool and I guess we'll take it. Hi, Stu. Hey there, walking buddy. I really like him. I know I say that every single time, but I just think he is so incredibly cute. He's probably my favorite villager. It's probably tied between him and Billy right now. I do have to say hello to all of the villagers, even though if I were typically playing, I would probably try not to talk to the one villager that I want to move away, which in this case would be Penelope. But we can't... We can't discriminate against our villagers, I guess. We have to say hello to everyone. Be nice and fair. All right, Kat is out and about. Oh, she is right there, just hanging out by this pear tree. She is pretty cute though. So the only villager we have left to say hello to is Billy. Let's see if he is in his house. And he is, perfect. Well, here you are. Make yourself at home, dang nabbit. Okay, you can't tell me that he is not so freaking cute. He is such a cute villager. But one of the things that I actually do want to do today, in addition to just like our regular dailies, so hitting all of the rocks, getting the money tree, getting all of our fossils, you know, things like that. Going to the ABD because we're trying to keep that streak up. In addition to those things, I actually want to start making a hybrid flower farm. So I think we'll work on doing that today. The only flowers I can currently do that with are going to be the pansies because they're our native flower and the cosmos because I've gotten the white, yellow, and red varieties from Nook's Cranny and also from the flowers that Tom Nook gifted to us early on in the playthrough. So I'm going to be moving those around today and trying to get them to start breeding. I think one of the requirements for getting three stars is having some hybrid flowers on your island. So I want to try to get a head start because I think that's going to be one of the more tricky parts of getting three stars in this playthrough. Typically I would go to a treasure island and get lots of hybrid flowers and I'm pretty sure that that dramatically helps your score. So I just want to get ahead of that in case that's something that holds us back in the future. But I can't reiterate enough as much as I I am trying to progress the gameplay in like somewhat of a timely manner. We're definitely not rushing our way through this island in any shape or form. I think it's kind of interesting to see how we actually end up at, after 30 days of very like normal realistic gameplay. So I actually am really considering keeping this island as like somewhat of a forever island. And I think that would be really, really fun. I do have kind of a general theme in mind for this island, but I think I want to continue to kind of think about it and refine my ideas a little bit more before I share it with you guys. I do think we have quite a long time actually until we're going to be able to do any serious, serious decorating. So again, we're not rushing through anything, but let's go ahead and check out what Nook's Cranny has for sale today. All right. And we actually have some pretty cute items in Nook's Cranny today. We have the generator. The tambourine is super cute. I don't think I actually have anything in my inventory to sell. Yeah, not really. 
Well, we're definitely gonna grab a tambourine. I'm not super interested in the generator, but I will go ahead and grab a trash can because that is a very, very handy thing to have especially when you end up with an inventory full of junk that's not really worth very much money. And I also think the paint for a lantern is really, really cute, especially in the dark wood colorway. So definitely be picking that up. We'll probably buy a second one for Nook Shopping at some point as well. And let's see if we have anything good in here. I've been checking to see if they have any red flowers. Ooh, we have red mums today. I wonder and yellow i wonder if we should yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get five of these and then get five of the yellow as well nothing here that i am really in love with but the pastel dotted wall might actually be slightly better than what we currently have so let's go ahead and grab that just for fun so while we're in here i actually did get a few presents in the mail today so we have the Nook bandana. I ended up ordering that. I feel like that looks pretty cute. That's probably the cutest I'm gonna be able to look this early in the game at this point. We've got our HHA pendant. We did get Luna's bed. And then one more item. I think this was a mom's gift. Oh, a leotard. What the heck? Oh. That, um... Yeah, I, I I don't really have words for that. That's really something special. Um, okay, anyway, goodbye. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and find the rest of our rocks. Oh, our mom, or our moms, what am I saying? Our cosmos finally grew in. I can't believe that mosquito did not bite us. What the heck? This is not realistic at all. Okay, so I think... We'll put the paper lantern right next to the entrance because I feel like that looks pretty cute. And then eventually we'll have to get another one. I'm probably going to end up completely tearing all of this down at some point very, very soon. So I'm not really like trying to decorate the island in any real way. But I don't know. It just kind of like feels more fun to try to make it look as cute as possible this early in the game. I don't know where I want these flower plots to be. I guess this is a pretty decent area down here and then maybe we'll get rid of this tree, but we'll have to figure that out in a little bit. Pastel wall and see if it is cuter than the plain one. Um, It's a little bit weird with our plaid bed, but I don't know. It kind of gives it a fun little wonky vibe and I think it's more fun than the simple cloth wall. So I guess we'll go ahead and leave that as it is. I do want to put the HHA, that's kind of hard to say, I do want to put the HHA pendant somewhere, so we'll go ahead and put that above the dining room table. Actually, I think it kind of looks better over here. Maybe in the middle? Yeah, we'll put it there. Okay, cool. It's coming together. Our very, very, very humble abode. Um, the tambourine, I guess I might place somewhere out on the island. And then I definitely don't need to carry these things around with me the entire time. Uh, nor am I going to be using Luna's bed. As much as I'm glad to have it, I don't really need to have it on me right now. All right, so I'm gonna run around, finish hitting my rocks and look for any fossils that we have today. Just try to get some of the dailies out of the way and then we'll head into resident services. Now that Celia's moved onto the island, we actually might be able to put the campsite down today. My memory is so bad when it comes to the order of how the first few days work in this game, which kind of sucks, but it's actually making it a little bit more fun for me because I can't quite remember to be able to predict what's going to happen. I don't think I'm going to be hitting any trees today to mine any wood because I really don't feel like I need to, to be quite honest with you guys. I feel like we've got plenty of wood to craft everything that we're going to need, and eventually I probably will do either some trading with other players or a little bit of treasure island use on this island. Probably I'm not going to be able to keep it vanilla for the entire time. I just want to try to get through until we get to three stars as much as possible, and then I want to try to use it sparingly, if at all possible. I will say I'm not really sure how I feel about the eyebrows and freckles that I made. It's a little bit dark right now as we're playing, so maybe it doesn't look too bad, too bad to you guys. I tried really hard to give myself bangs because I have bangs in real life, but it was so incredibly difficult to try to make them 
I failed so miserably. So I think we may have to wait until we get Able Sisters to be able to do anything that looks a little better. I will say I have so much respect for the creators who make the custom codes for us to use in this game because I never could have expected how difficult it is. It is literally so hard. Even the mechanics of how you use the custom design editor are really, really tricky to me. I did not have an easy time at all. Yeah, it was, it was really something. Okay, since we're over here and we're gonna do our flower fields, I'm gonna go ahead and do the layout for the pansies. Probably want there to be enough room for them to like sort of spread out. <laughs> All right, friends, that is going to wrap up this next day on EP Isle. I'll see you tomorrow for some construction on resident services, and we are going to get to the exciting part of this island reset. I have been loving this series. I hope you are too, and I will see you tomorrow for another video.